I'm doing an update video for you guys and I actually just got back from um, a treatment with Dr. Rulon. Um, as you can see by my face, my I have a lot of bumps right now and inflammation. Guess what treatment I got? Yeah, fillers. <laughs> um, but this time we didn't use silicone, we used Juvederm. Um, I hadn't seen my doctor since October so the last time I met with him, we talked about, you know, finalizing my treatment plan and he suggested that I just do fillers and I asked him, do you think I need any more TCA cross? And he said no, because the TCA cross has already elevated my scars and, um, you know, has given them like a less deep appearance, so they're more shallow now. Um, but he mainly focused on, you know, my cheeks and my temple area. That's where he injected... Um, <clears throat> the filler. If, for those of you who don't know what Juvederm is, it is a hyaluronic. Let me just try to pronounce this. Hyaluronic acid filler. Hyaluronic acid filler. And it's different from Belfol in that it's used for more superficial acne scarring. Um, but they also use it for like wrinkles and stuff. But that's not why I got it. I got it because I have acne scars. And as for those of you who have watched my previous videos, you know that I'm allergic to Bellafil, so I couldn't receive it. Um, they always do like a skin test on your arm to see if you can receive it. And I was allergic, so I didn't. So Dr. Rulon did Bellafil. It's not a permanent filler. It lasts anywhere from 9 to 12 months, and I would have to go back to get treatments. Um, the cost. He used one full syringe of Juvederm, and it cost me $250. If you compare that to Bellafil, one syringe of Bellafil ranges from 900 to like a thousand dollars but the difference is Bellafil lasts anywhere from like five years and and onward because it's it's a collagen stimulator so it produces more collagen um I would assume that Juvederm does the same thing um and I would assume that just from him injecting the needle like or inserting the needle into my skin that that would produce more collagen as well um it was great to see the progress from where I started from last year up until now. It's been more, it's been a year since, a year and a couple months since I started this acne scar journey and it's been the most, it's been difficult but it's also been rewarding in a sense that I have seen progress and that I have been able to connect with all of you guys who watch my videos. And it was funny because when I actually, um, came in for my appointment, Dr. Rulon had mentioned that someone saw my video and that's how they were able to go and see him and like get treatment from him, which I thought was really cool because, you know, like we're all connecting and everyone's like, you know, um, sorry, my dog is barking. Everyone is able to um, get something out of my videos, whether it's just, um, you know, for more information or if you're really seeking solution this is a great way for us to like connect with each other <laughs> especially since we've all been through similar journeys with our skin um let's see oh yeah there was a i want to say a training physician there with dr Rulon. so he injected some of my cheek like some of my cheek too and the way they do it is they have overhead lighting in natural lighting my skin looks okay it looks decent like you couldn't you wouldn't really be able to tell that i have acne scars unless you really look at my face like from five feet away it doesn't really look like it but like up close you could see that I have scarring with the overhead lighting that's how they analyze my skin that's where they see where the deficits are where the atrophic scars are and that's how they are able to like fill in my scars basically it's, it's like a map or like you're like digging for gold or something <laughs> we're using a flashlight it's like the same thing so yeah, that's how they did it. Um, the procedure lasted like, I want to say 15 minutes. But before that, they had to, they didn't give me any numbing cream. They just gave me two ice packs. I put them on my cheeks prior to them coming into the room and injecting me. And then after the injections were finished, they started massaging my cheeks and that was that. Um, as you can see, I still have swelling from the injection sites, little bumps. They look like, you know, like ant bites, I guess you could say. Um, remember how I had fillers recently in the summer and I got silicone fillers and they looked pretty good like it helped a little bit and then I could I could see like you know the scars came back a little bit um so yeah he really injected more here 
um, for my temple area. For those of you who are interested in getting fillers, I think it's a great, great treatment for for a treat, like, you know, it's a great addition to a treatment plan. So a lot of people ask me, um, you know, what's the best thing that has helped you? Honestly, everything has helped me. Um, that's the thing about acne scarring, and I'm pretty sure you guys have, if you're watching this video, then you probably have seen Dr. David, David Lim's videos, and he's really, really, like, really a top-notch expert when it comes to acne scarring. And he always says multimodality approaches are a, 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 motel, a multimodality approach is the best way to tackle acne scars. Um, yeah, so once my skin has healed, and once these bumps have you know dissipated and have like gone away, then I'll be able to give you um, before and after comparison, so you could really see the difference. I'm not expecting perfection. I'm just expecting progress. Like. When it comes to acne scarring, that's all you can really ask for is just progress. And, you know, it's difficult, like, one of the most difficult things for me on this journey was not even, like, I think, sorry, my dog. One of the most difficult things for me was looking in the mirror and then seeing the scars and being reminded of what had happened. Because that was a very traumatic experience for me, and it, it was just really bad but I'm just glad that you know in this day and age we're we're lucky enough to have really great doctors who care who who are dedicated to helping their patients and I think Dr. Rulon is one of those people it's, it's very hard to come across a doctor who genuinely cares about you and who genuine genuinely cares about like the progress that you're making um, I know that he's busy and he has a lot of patients but the fact that he's able to like even just connect with me is pretty cool and you, I developed like a rapport with him and I feel extremely comfortable around him. If you guys are in California, he is one of the doctors I suggest to check out along with other doctors in LA. Dr. Jason Emer is really cool and he's relatively new but he has a lot of methods that can help you guys. Um, who else? Dr. David Rahimi is good. He's in LA as well, like the Beverly Hills area. And Dr. Melanie Palm, I would say, was, I only saw her nurse, but her office seems like it's another good option. And yeah, if you guys have any um, questions, sorry, suggest questions about, you know, my acne scar journey, um, just leave them in the comments below and I will keep you guys updated when my skin has fully healed. Bye!